flying from Hong Kong for 761 miles in two hours towards the northeast direction. It is the city of Shanghai. Shanghai is one of the four direct controlled municipalities of China. With a population of more than 24 million, it is a global financial center and a transport hub with the world's busiest container port. Architecture Skyscrapers are built in high density, with many international companies set their offices. It has become another unique icon of Shanghai. Oriental Pure TV Tower is a modern architecture and an iconic landmark in Shanghai. It is in 468 meter tall, built in 1994. It's located at Putong District, one of the busiest business districts in Shanghai. Double observation platform of the tower has a glass floor for visitors to see the whole scenario of Shanghai modern era, with restaurants in tower as well. From the Pearl TV Tower, take 21 minutes of metro, you arrived at the Shanghai Oriental Art Center, one of the leading performing arts and culture facilities in Shanghai, at Putong District. It is structured by five interconnected hemisphere holes or petals resembling a butterfly or butterfly orchard from above. Each petal belonging in turn to different holes and distinguished by different colors in inside. The art center has performance include orchestra from different countries, western and Chinese opera and ballet. It is an important place on showcasing the art culture of Shanghai and promoting the performing art in the city. Firstly, Chu Kuman is a uniquely cultural and traditional Shanghai's architectural style combining Western and Chinese elements of the social behavior that first appeared in the 1860s. Each resident has his collet and arranged in a straight alleys low as Long Dang. Chu Kuman means store, storage store, referring to strong garage to each house. In 2010, its construction techniques was recognized by the Chinese government on the National Non-Physical Cultural Heritage Register. The oldest architectural design of Chu Kuman, which preserved Long Deng, is located in the historical buildings today become the Museum of First Coalition Congress of the Chinese Communist Party. This is a historic photograph of the ancients of the Shukuman land or Longdang. Speaking of urban landscape of Shanghai, one may quickly think of the Bund. The following slides will introduce some of the landmarks as well as a traditional Chinese garden which locates in the close proximity of the Bund. First we will start with the Yu Garden. The Yu Garden was established in 1577 during the Ming Dynasty. Throughout history, its owner and functions changed for several times. First a private garden and later became a national monument. Next, we will go to the Shanghai Club Building. Clubs were once the most representing feature of Shanghai, especially during the colonial period, where officials and envoys from different countries would gather. Today, after changing the holds for several times, the building now stands as a hotel. Following is the old HSBC building, bank is another typical landmark of Shanghai. There are more than a dozen of banks just along this road of a few hundred meters long, and among these banks, the old HSBC building is one of the oldest foreign banks. At last, the Fairmont Peace Hotel. Similar to other landmarks along the Bund, the Peace Hotel is filled with tremendous amount of historical backgrounds, from the revolution in early 20th century to the temporary Japanese occupation, and later used by the Gang of Four during the Cultural Revolution. Put in Shanghai. Even Shanghai is a modern city, it has preserved the traditional Shanghai food culture. Xiao Long Bao, the soup filling dumplings that Shanghai is very famous for, is a miracle of creation and construction. The word Xiao Long Bao literally means small steamer basket buns, and it is the most commonly used name of these dumplings. The pork filling seasoned with a little ginger and Shaoxing wine is very famous. It was invented in the suburb of Shanghai. The Shanghainese treat it as a kind of Xiaolong style mantles, and around Shanghai, this is eaten daily and it is even for breakfast or dim sum. Chicken and duck butt soup. It was invented by a hawker from Shanghai and described to be sour and spicy in taste. 
The dish is viewed as a healthy food with medicinal value in Shanghai. CNN describes the dish as one of the Shanghai's weirdest food, although adding that it tastes better than it looks. This soup is a cultural icon of the city. It is sold mostly at Shanghai's city god temple. Shanghai has a rich collection of buildings and structures of various architectural styles. The city has been described as the showpiece of the booming economy of mainland China. Therefore, it has many modern architecture and sculptures to display the prosperous development of Shanghai. Moreover, Shanghai, being a relatively slow city in China, does not really have a Christian of its own, but successfully refined all the works of surrounding provinces, such as Jiangsu. It is the assimilation of the arts in other styles of Christian with use of heavy and highly favored sauce.